Item number SCP-1513 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-1513-1 are to be contained in wildlife observation units. The floor of these units is to be coated in soil, and replaced every 14 days. While soil is being replaced, instances of SCP-1513 are to be removed and placed in temporary containment units. SCP-1513 is currently held in a standard containment locker located in Site-77 Safe SCP Wing. Description: SCP-1513 is a plastic package containing approximately 11 seeds. Testing has shown that the seeds appear to be inert and originating from the Helianthus annuus plant. The words "Grow a pet" have been written on the front of SCP-1513. Whenever a seed from SCP-1513 is placed into the ground, it will enter an active state. The seed will begin growing, whether or not it is watered or given sunlight. However, these factors will affect how it develops. If the seed is cared for properly, the instance will begin growing into the shape of a domestic house pet, such as a cat or dog. This will continue for a period of time between one to four weeks, after which it will become animate. Hereafter, it will be known as the instance of SCP-1513-1. Instances of SCP-1513-1 display behaviors consistent with the animal they resemble, and will act with an extremely friendly disposition. Although unable to move from whichever location they were grown in, they will attempt to contact any organism coming near them. SCP-1513-1 do not react to portions of their mass being removed and take several weeks to heal damaged portions. If the mass of the SCP-1513-1 instance is removed completely, it will grow into a different shape. They do not appear to have the ability to remember or recognize faces or objects. If sunlight and water were denied during the growth stage, instances of SCP-1513-1 will become radically different. A hard inner structure of plant stem and dried leaves will grow, allowing them to become mobile. Instances of SCP-1513-1 will be able to detach themselves from where they are growing, and replant themselves elsewhere. They typically avoid human contact, moving away from any human coming near them and attempting to escape human care whenever possible. When two instances of SCP-1513-1 are planted in the same pot, the root structures will combine over a period of 12 days, causing the instances to form into a larger plant hereafter known as SCP-1513-2. SCP-1513-2 instances are animate and capable of retaining simple memory of place, objects, and faces. In addition, these will display more complex behaviors, such as fear and excitement. Instances of SCP-1513-2 typically survive for one to two weeks, before separating into two SCP-1513-1 instances again. SCP-1513 was discovered from a pet shop in Miami, Florida, United States after reports of its anomalous properties reached Foundation agents investigating unrelated phenomena. Investigations of the store uncovered 11 instances of SCP-1513-1 and two instances of SCP-1513-2. Further investigation led to a raid that recovered SCP-1513. They had been contained at Site-77 as of November 18, 1999, and classified as safe. Addendum: Documents recovered during a raid on the believed to relate to SCP-1513, SCP-039, and SCP-1341. We've been talking about what to do with the seed things. The Red Troop really screwed us over on this shit. We wanted to get something we could sell, and they give us pet plants. Who the hell buys a retarded dog you can grow? Even if I knew some place that would want it, nobody's going to see it as being real. Next time I see Werner, he's going to get it. Okay, I was talking to some dude from the troop today, and they said we'd be able to use a warehouse to grow some samples in. Gave some directions and a little kickback for our trouble. I guess Werner isn't a giant dick after all. There's some big buckets of dirt and some lamps. We've got a hose to keep them moist, have to do it a couple times a day, whatever, I'll make Lenny do it. Fuckers grow pretty quick. We've got a couple already full grown, rustling like crazy whenever they see us. I sent Lenny and Gary out to the stores to find a buyer, while me and Greg hold down the fort. Heh, <laughs> maybe it'll work out after all. 
Greg put two seeds in one bucket today, the one we sold to the store downtown. If we can get two growing in one pot, we can make a shitload more money. As long as the seeds and commissions keep coming in from the actors, we'll be golden. When I get my cut of the next commission, I'm gonna go get a TV for this place and some air conditioning. Well then, we didn't get two plants, there was a big green Labrador locked in a closet upstairs, out of the soil. Shit. Gary sold the big one to the store today, got a ton of cash for it. Can't say I expected it, but I'll be damned if we don't use it. I put like ten seeds into a dirt bucket and stuck it in the closet. If this thing grows into like an elephant or something, we can make all the money. Might be able to sell it to like one of those big time organizations. Forget the pet store. We can sell these to like a big pet shop or the circus. Lenny didn't show up today, lazy bastard. Still isn't showing up. I sent Greg to go look for him. Fucking morons. They all think they knew what they were doing, and then they got themselves eaten. I remember when there used to be competent handlers of weird shit like this, but no. Dumbass kids had to be eaten, or killed, or whatever by the plant thing. Not sure what happened to them, didn't check, torched that whole scene and left it for the troop to sort out. 